Hey everybody, here we are again, and it's a John Ball Pilsner. Here to talk about it. So it's a kitten kilo. There's the label. 1.8 kilo of malt. Pre-hot malt extract. Uh, just add sugar and water. Best before the end of can. Ingredients. Allergens in bold. Right. Barley. Malt extract. In brackets, malted barley with water. Hop extract. Dry yeast in sachet. See allergens in bold. So, yeah. That's about it. Used as usual, be reusing the SO4 yeast. So let's have a quick look at it. Polish clear, I think you can see that. It's um, light straw colour. Torch doesn't want to play. doesn't really hold the head. It's dropped to a cap already, but tends to lose that and it holds barely a ring. It does produce some lacing on the glass, but not much. It starts off alright, but end up pint is virtually non-existent. Jumbo Pilsner, there we go. Starting gravity, 1.046. Finishing gravity, quite low, 1.006. Starting gravity was 20 degrees C. Finishing gravity, 24 degrees C. We're in the height of summer, and we've got a bit of a heat wave going on. We have had for the last month, because this was brewed in the beginning of June, end of May, beginning of June. ABV 5.43478261% approximate. Price of the kit £15.95 plus bag of sugar about 65p. So that's £16.60 for 40 pounds. Not too bad. So, aroma wise, it does have that mild multi lager smell with a bit of a, <coughs> excuse me, bit of a very spicy note. Yeah, something like that. for a test. Not a right lot going on flavour wise. There is that, it's like a standard lager, shall we say. Slight maltiness, no real sweetness to it. There is a little bit of a spicy twang, shall we say. That must be the hops. It's quite nice. Mouthfeel wise, quite low, I'd say. Yeah, it's not really getting above low, isn't that? A little bit 
watery. Not too bad, but yeah, it's a low mouthfeel. What about it again? No. For starters, it's not really my style of beer. Lager, I don't really drink. I've been drinking quite a bit of lager recently. Just because I think it's about the only stuff left I've got to buy that I've never bought before. It's not a lied. There's other stuff coming on the market. But yeah, I, I don't often... I've been in a lager phase, shall we say. Won't bother buying that one again, though. I used to buy John Bull Best Bitter a long time ago, but I used to pimp them. And I found the cost of pimping the kit was taking it up there to a, an old malt kit, so you might as well cut out the middleman, make it easier, buy an old malt kit. Anyway, it's an alright beer. It's how much how much is it per pint? Sixteen pounds sixty. Talk amongst yourselves while well, I find my calculator. Less than fifty p a pint. Forty one and a half p a pint. You can't really grumble at forty one and a half p a pint. You get what you pay for. Pay a bit more. Get a bit of beer. It's still better than the real bottom end that you can buy in cans for start. Cans are fizzy. I don't particularly like fizzy beer. Some would say a lager should be fizzy. Some would say a lot of things. It's cheap beer. Right. Like, comment, subscribe. See you next time. Cheers. Bye.